The Ukraine national football team Ukrainian, Zaberna Ukraini Z Futbolu is the national football team of Ukraine and is controlled by the Football Federation of Ukraine. After Ukrainian independence and the country's breakaway from the Soviet Union, they played their first match against Hungary on 29 April 1992. The team's biggest success on the world stage was reaching the quarter-finals in the 2006 FIFA World Cup, which also marked the team's debut in the finals of a major championship. As the host nation, Ukraine automatically qualified for UEFA Euro 2012. Four years later, Ukraine qualified for Euro 2016 via the playoff route, the first time qualifying for a UEFA European Championship via the qualifying process, as it finished in third place in its qualifying group. This marked the first time in Ukraine's five playoff appearances that it managed to win such a tie, previously having been unsuccessful in the playoff ties for the Euro 2000, 2002 World Cup, 2010 World Cup and 2014 World Cup. Ukraine's home ground is the Olympijski Stadium in Kiev. History Topic: Pre-independence 1925 to 1935. Officially the national team of Ukraine, the national team was formed in the early 1990s and shortly after was recognized internationally. It is not widely known, however, that Ukraine previously had a national team in 1925 to 1935. Just like the Russian Soviet Federative Socialist Republic, the Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic had its own national team. The earliest record of games it played can be traced back to August 1928. A championship among the national teams of the Soviet republics as well as the Moscow City team was planned to take place in Moscow. Just before the tournament started, the Ukraine national team played two exhibition games against the Red Sports Federation team from Uruguay, one in Kharkiv lost 1 and the other in Moscow won 3 At the All-Soviet tournament, Ukraine played three games and reached the final where it lost to Moscow 0-1. Along the way, Ukraine managed to defeat the national teams of Belarus and Transcaucasus. In 1929, Ukraine beat the team of Lower Austria in an exhibition match in Kharkiv, recording a score of 4-1. In 1931, Ukraine participated in another All-Soviet Championship in Moscow. It played only one game, starting from the semi-finals. Ukraine lost to the national team of Transcaucasus 0-3 and was eliminated. In 1986, Ukraine became a winner of Association Football Tournament of the Spartakiad of Peoples of the USSR that was hosted in Ukraine when in final it beat the team of Uzbekistan Uzbek SSR. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Official Formation. Prior to independence in 1991, Ukrainian players represented the Soviet Union national team. After the collapse of the USSR in 1991, Russia took the place of the Soviet Union national team in the qualifying tournament for the 1994 World Cup. The national team of Ukraine was excluded from the 1994 FIFA World Cup qualification. Meanwhile, some of the best Ukrainian players of the beginning of the 1990s including Andrei Kanchelskis, Viktor Anopko, Sergei Urin, Yuri Nikifarov, Ilya Simbolar and Oleg Solenko chose to play for Russia, as it was named the official successor of the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union's five-year UEFA coefficients, despite being earned in part by Ukrainian players for example, in the final of the last successful event, Euro 1988, seven out of starting eleven players were Ukrainians, were transferred to the direct descendant of the Soviet national team, the Russian national team. As a result, a crisis was created for both the national team and the domestic league. When Ukraine returned to international football in late 1994, it did so as absolute beginners. In the following years, the Ukrainian team improved, showcasing talents like Andriy Shevchenko, Anatoly Timoshchik, Serhii Rebrov, and Alexander Shavkovsky. Ukraine, however, failed to qualify for any major tournaments prior to 2006. Topic: <laughs> First official games, Prokopenko. Soon after being accepted to FIFA and UEFA as a full member in 1992, Ukraine started its preparation for its first game. 
At first the head coach of the team was planned to be Valery Lobanovsky, but at that time he had a current contract with the United Arab Emirates. Thus, the first manager of the team had to be chosen among members of a coaching council which consisted of Anatoly Puzic manager of Dynamo Kiev, Yevon Kuchereski FC Dnipro, Yevon Lemeshko Torpedo Zaporizhia, Yukim Shkolnikov and Viktor Prokopenko Odessa. Later, they were joined by a native of Donetsk Valery Yaremchenko Shakhtar Donetsk. At the end a circle of candidates narrowed down only to three names, Puzic, Yaramanchenko and Prokopenko, the latter who eventually became the head coach. The first game of the team it was agreed to play against Hungary on the 22nd of April 1992 in Kiev at the Respublikansky Stadium. Due to financial issues, however, it was rearranged to 29 April and moved to the border with Hungary in Uzhorod at the Avonard Stadium. There was almost no preparation to the game as all. Pioneers gathered in Kiev on the 27th of April and the next day flew out to Ujorod. At the same time, the opponent, while failing to qualify for the Euro 1992, was preparing for 1994 FIFA World Cup qualification. Ukraine at that time failed to be accepted for the qualification cycle. Unlike the Hungarian squad, players of which played alongside before and were coached by the European Cup winning coach Emerich Jene, the Ukrainian team lost some its better and experienced players to the CIS national football team that was playing its own friendly against the England national football team in Moscow. Among those were Andrei Kanchelskis, Volodymyr Lyuti, Sergei Yurin, Viktor Anopko, Oleksiy Mikhailichenko and Akrik Sveba the last two would later represent Ukraine. For the game against Hungary, only Ivan Hetsko and Ole Luzhny had previous experience of playing at international level, other players had only played for the Soviet Olympic football team, while Serhii Kavales played for Ukraine at the Spartakiad of People of the USSR in 1986. The first home game was lost 1-3 with Ivan Hetsko becoming the first goalscorer in the history of national team. During the summer of 1992 the Prokopenko's team played two more away games on 27 June against the United States 0-0 and on 26 August against Hungary 1-2. After the second loss to Hungary Prokopenko resigned. Leading in its game against Hungary, Ukraine conceded two goals in the final ten minutes. To the scheduled against Belarus in Minsk in the fall, Ukraine has left with the Prokopenko's assistants Mykola Pavlov and Leonid Kachenko. At the Dynamo Stadium, Ukraine managed to salvage the game by tying one apiece with a goal from Yuri Maksimov. Topic: <laughs> Euro 96 qualification Basilvich. During a winter intermission, Ukraine received a new head coach, former forward of Dynamo Kiev Ole Basilvich. With Ukraine national team he made his debut in spring of 1993 in Odessa in a friendly against Israel. In the expected win, the game again was saved just 10 minutes before it ended by Serhii Konovalov with a score 1-1. Less than a month later Ukraine finally celebrated its first victory in Vilnius in friendly against Lithuania winning it 1-2 Viktor Leonenko and Dmitro Mykhailenko. During summer Ukraine played one away game against Croatia which spoiled the recent success with 3-1 defeat. One of the goals for Croatian in the game scored Davr Suka, for Ukraine his first goal scored Andriy Husson. In October 1993 Ukraine went on its first tour to the United States where it played three games against the U.S. and Mexico. In San Diego, the game with Mexico, which Ukraine lost 1-2, was attended by over 50,000 stadium spectators. During a winter break Ukraine found out that it was seeded in the Group 4 of the UEFA Euro 1996 qualification. In March 1994, Ukraine paid Israel a visit, but lost the game with a single penalty kick. Next there was a home game with Belarus which finally Ukraine won with confidence 3-2-1, even though trailing at the half. Just before its first official game at international competition which was scheduled to be played with Lithuania at home, Ukraine played couple of away games against Bulgaria and the United Arab Emirates which both ended with 1-1 tie. Another tour was scheduled right after the game with Lithuania to Korea, the national team of which was coached by a native of Kiev Anatoly Bishovitz. The opening game against Lithuania, considering the last year away victory, was expected to end positively for Ukraine. 
However, on 7 September 1994 at Republican Stadium Ukraine was completely stunned by Lithuania with a 0–2 defeat. Both goals were yielded with couple of minutes apart in the mid of the second half and the main troublemaker for Ukraine became Valdis Ivanauskas who at time was a forward in Hamburger SV. For Korea the national team left without Basilvich and led by his assistants whom were Mykola Pavlov and Volodymyr Muntyan. With Korea, Ukraine national team played two games and both lost. A week later it returned home. On 20 September 1994 Ole Basilvich was highly criticized at the Federation's coaching meeting and the final decision about his future at the team it was decided to obtain at the next meeting of the FFU Executive Committee few days later. However, the next day Basilvich resigned accusing Banikov being tactless. On 24 September 1994 the Football Federation of Ukraine appointed Joseph Sabo as an acting head coach until the end of the year. Following the change of coach, the national team did not improve right away. The next game at home Ukraine tied with Slovenia 0-0. After missing to obtain its first victory again, Ukraine rolled down to bottom of the tournament table just above Estonia. The next game was in the mid-November at home against the same Estonian team and Ukraine had to win to keep any hopes in the qualification tournament. Estonians who were unable to field its best team hoped to repeat the Slovenian effort a month before. Ukraine managed to overcome their defense, finally obtaining its first victory, which was 3-0. The team finished the year fourth in the table with main games yet ahead. Right after the game with Estonia, Sabo left his post and the federation had to choose new coach. On 5 January 1995 FFU confirmed Anatoly Konkov as the new head coach. Topic. 2006 FIFA World Cup After an unsuccessful Euro 2004 qualifying campaign, Ukraine appointed Ole Blokhin as the national team's head coach. Despite initial skepticism about his appointment due to his previous somewhat undistinguished coaching record and general public calls for a foreign coach, Ukraine went on to qualify for their first ever FIFA World Cup on 3 September 2005 after drawing 1-1 against Georgia in Tbilisi. In their first World Cup, in 2006, they were in the Group H together with Spain, Tunisia and Saudi Arabia. After losing 0-4 in the first match against Spain, the Ukrainians beat their other two opponents to reach the knockout stage. In the round of 16, Ukraine played against the winner of the Group G Switzerland, who they beat on penalties. In the quarterfinals, they were beaten 0-3 by eventual champions Italy. 2012. As co-hosts, Ukraine qualified automatically for Euro 2012, marking their debut in the UEFA European Championship. In their opening game against Sweden, Ukraine won 2-1 in Kiev. Despite the team's efforts, however, Ukraine was eliminated after a 0-2 loss to France and a 0-1 loss to England, both in Donetsk. 2014 World Cup qualification, UEFA Group H Topic: Euro 2016 For the Euro 2016 qualifying round, Ukraine were drawn against Spain, Slovakia, Belarus, Macedonia and Luxembourg. The Zbirna was expected to qualify for the tournament as runners-up of the group behind Spain but, despite having won all of their games against Belarus, FYR Macedonia and Luxembourg, the Ukrainians finished third due to a lack of finishing during the top matches against Spain and Slovakia. They therefore had to face Slovenia in the playoff route and succeeded in taking revenge over the team which eliminated Ukraine at the same stage in 1999. They recorded a 2-0 win at Lviv before catching the 1-1 draw at the very end of the second game. Ukraine convincingly won all of their preparation friendlies against Cyprus, Wales, Romania and Albania. At club level, FC Nipro had recently reached the UEFA Europa League final in 2015, while Shakhtar Donetsk had progressed to the semi-finals one year later, as the Ukrainian clubs succeeded in sending one participant to the round of 16 of the UEFA Champions League two times in a row. 
Having been drawn against world champions Germany, Slavic neighbours Poland and first-time Euro competitors Northern Ireland, the Ukrainian team was expected to advance at least to the next round. The tournament, however, turned into a surprising nightmare. Ukraine lost all of their three games, becoming the only participant in such a case and the first team to exit the tournament, also failing to score a single goal. The Ukrainians started against Germany and were beaten despite good resistance and great chances during an entertaining first half. They came close to leveling the score but were unable to deliver the final end product and were hit by Germany on the counterattack at the very end of the game. Despite a 2-0 loss, it appeared that they would prove to be a stubborn opposition for their opponents. This game was followed by a dreadful and disastrous second 2-0 loss against Northern Ireland where a goal was again conceded at injury time. The Ukrainian media mainly criticized the coach Mikhailo Fomenko's perceived inadequate psychological preparation of the squad as much as predictable tactics which were judged as easy to break down. Ukrainian stars Andriy Yarmolenko and Yevon Konoplyanka's underperformance was also mentioned. Ukraine were the first team eliminated from the competition at this point and lost 1-0 their last game to Poland. Topic. 2018 FIFA World Cup qualification, UEFA Group 1 Topic: 2018-19 UEFA Nations League Topic: UEFA Euro 2020 qualifying, UEFA Group B Stadiums The most important matches of the Ukrainian national team are held in Kiev's Olympijski National Sports Complex, also home of Dynamo Kiev. New infrastructure and stadiums were built in preparation for Euro 2012, and other venues include stadiums in the cities of Donetsk, Kharkiv, Lviv, Dnipro, Odessa. The alternative stadiums are, Donbass Arena Donetsk, Medalist Stadium Kharkiv, Arena Lviv Lviv, Dnipro Arena Dnipro, Chornomorets Stadium Odessa. During the Soviet time era before 1991, only two stadiums in Ukraine were used in official games, the Olympijski NSC in Kiev known then as Republican Stadium and the Lokomotiv Stadium in Topic. Recent and forthcoming matches The following matches were played or are scheduled to be played by the national team in the current or upcoming seasons. Player records Most capped players As of 20 November 2018 players in bold are still active, at least at club level. Captains As of 20 November 2018 Managers Last updated on the 20th of November 2018. Topic: Coaching staff. Currently approved. Topic: Players. Topic: Current squad. The following players have been called up for a 2018-19 UEFA Nations League match against Slovakia and a friendly match against Turkey on 16 and 20 November respectively. Players' records are accurate as of 20 November 2018 after the match against Turkey. <laughs> Recent call-ups The following players have been called up for the team within the last 12 months. Notes INJ equals now injury. WD equals withdrew.
Pre equals preliminary squad. Ret equals retired from the national team. Sus suspended for the next match. U21 equals joined the Ukraine national under-21 team instead. Alt alternate replaces a member of the squad in case of injury unavailability. Topic: Previous squads. 2006 FIFA World Cup squads, Ukraine. UEFA Euro 2012 squads, Ukraine. UEFA Euro 2016 squads, Ukraine. Topic: Competitive record Topic FIFA World Cup record Asterisk denotes draws include knockout matches decided on penalty kicks Topic UEFA European Championship record Topic: Qualifying campaigns. Topic: UEFA Nations League record. Topic: All-time team record. The following table shows Ukraine's all-time international record, correct as of the 20th of November 2018. Topic: <laughs> Home venues record. Since Ukraine's first fixture, the 29th of April 1992 versus Hungary, they have played their home games at 11 different stadiums. Last updated the 16th of October 2018. Statistics include official FIFA recognized matches only. Topic: <inaudible> FIFA ranking history. Topic: <inaudible> 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 Kits and sponsors. Topic: <inaudible> 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 Kit history and evolution. On 29 March 2010, Ukraine debuted a new Adidas kit. This replaced the Adidas kit with a yellow base and the traditional Adidas 3-stripe with a snake sash which was used in 2009. Prior to 5 February 2009 Ukraine wore a lotto kit. On 2009 the official team kit is produced by German company Adidas which has a contract with the Ukrainian team until 31 December 2016. Joma manufactured the kits starting from the year 2017 for the match against Croatia on March 24, 2017. Topic: <laughs> Sponsors. Marketing for the Football Federation of Ukraine is conducted by the Ukraine Football International (UFI). Title sponsor: Epicenter since 2013. Premium General sponsors Chernihiski since 1998. Official sponsors Henkel Ukraine, Adidas, Airline Mao, Ukraine International Airlines, Nico, official Mitsubishi distributor in Ukraine, Boris Clinic, tour agency Love Cyprus, Resort Center, Grand Admiral Club. Former title and general sponsors included Euchre Telecom and Kievstar. Topic. See also Ukraine national under-21 football team Ukraine national under-19 football team Ukraine national under-18 football team Ukraine national under-17 football team Ukraine national under-16 football team Ukrainians on the Soviet Union national football team Notes <laughs>